Hi, I'm Dave Sterren, Training Director at Gunsight Academy, and today we're going to go over dry practice procedures. First thing we want to do is we want to have a safe area, safe area where there's nobody around, and I've got a good backstop that would stop a bullet should one happen to be fired. But we're going to go through a procedure to prevent that from happening, but in the interest of safety, we always want a good safe backstop. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unload my pistol. I'm going to take the magazine out, put it away. Lock the slide to the rear. Visually and physically check using two senses to ensure that I have an empty safe weapon. Put it back in the holster. Next thing I'm gonna do is separate all my ammunition from me. So I'm gonna take all my magazines, all my lab, live ammunition, I'm gonna put them over here. Now if I was home, I would put those in a whole entirely separate room. Now that I've done that, I come back here to my safe area. I am again going to check my pistol and make sure that it is empty. No magazine, no round in the chamber. I have an empty pistol. I can begin my dry practice. What I want, I want a good focus for about 10 to 15 minutes where I have nothing else to do but focus on my dry practice. I want to do everything deliberately, everything perfectly, make it as smooth as possible. One of the benefits of dry practice is I don't have the recoil to manage. So I get a nice trigger press without that anticipation or anything. So I can really ingrain those good fine habits in that good smooth trigger press. Once I get started, if I have any interruptions of any kind, I stop and I'm done. I don't continue. Should I decide to continue later, I go through the same process again of making sure that the gun is completely unloaded, separating the ammunition, checking it from the last time, and doing my dry practice in a good safe area. 10 to 15 minutes is about all you want. After that, our concentration tends to drop off and we start to get a little bit sloppy. And anything that we do is training. We're either training ourselves correctly or we're training ourselves incorrectly. So I want to make this absolutely perfect. Nice and quiet, no interruptions, no distractions. I can begin my dry practice. Again, any interruptions, any distractions, stop. And then once I've got my 10 or 15 minutes in and I'm done with my dry practice, that's it. There's never any more one last shot. When you're done, you're done. If you reload your gun, do it in a safe area, make sure it's reloaded and reholster it or put it up however your procedure is, but never take that one last shot. When you're done, you're done. Because any distractions, anything like that, could lend to yourself loading the gun inadvertently and firing around that you don't intend to. The biggest thing with dry practice is safety.